Hi everyone, Gianfranco from Mod Devices here. This is the third of my series of videos about my own pedal boards to show what are the pedal boards that I use with the brand new Mod Dwarf. Continuing with the basic guitar stack that I described some videos ago, I'm adding to that stack all the modulations that I like after the amplification stage. So again, I have my pre-amplifier, the Alembic here, the power amplifier, the Cream Machine. I have a compression stage before that. After the power amplifier, I have the same cabinet here, the forward audio. I have my toggle switch here to select between the modulations. And after that, I have four different modulations and we, we're going to go through all of them now. And this time I'm using a stereo reverb because some of the modulations, they create a stereo image and I want to explore that. So the sound of the clean guitar here. I still keep my bright switch and also the compression, so. So let's start with the Chorus Flanger. That's a very interesting plugin because Chorus and Flanger are kind of the same effect with just some parameters. The amount of delay between the signal and the dry and the wet is different but it's the same usage and you can put all of them on the same plugin. And this is the chorus flanger here. It's a stereo plugin. The second one that I use, that's a very subtle plugin, but I really enjoy it. That's called it the fractal doubler. It's not a chorus, it's not a vibrato. Instead of using a LFO to make the modulation, it uses a fractal distribution. So it's kind of non-regular. I think it sounds very good. This is the dry sound. And with the fractal. Then the third one, this one is the Invada phaser. It's a very powerful phaser. And lastly, the fourth one is the tremolo. It's called the top tremolo. It's a very straightforward tremolo. I like it, a very strong tremolo. That's one very cool thing about our platform, is that you can sync everything to the master tempo. So I have a tap tempo in my unit here, and I can change the tempo of the rate. As I change the tap tempo, it changes. So these are the four modulations I use the most. There are many other modulations, but these are my personal preferences. Now let's get our audio file player. And I loaded some files here. And I'm going to put a blues track and we can jam on top of it. I'll start with the chorus. the fractal and the phaser Thank you. 
that was it. So these are the modulations I like the most. Just remember everyone, we are using the computer here just to demonstrate what's happening inside the dwarf. But actually everything that I'm doing here could be done without the computer. We just use the computer to assemble the pedal boards, to set it up. And once you're set, you take the dwarf to the stage or to your gig and work on with it. Thank you so much. We'll have more videos soon. So keep in tune. Thank you. The... Do -na -na -na. Make my Jennifer Aniston. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Better died. So hi Jen. <laughs> hi Jen. <laughs> wow, how I close the. <laughs> it goes to another note in the end, huh? <laughs> the chord progression. Isn't it? Is it motherfucker? <laughs> what the? F <laughs>